Cup 7 from Donington Park in England. 26 drivers in identical cars, battling not for individual glory, but for their national team. Some, like the Australians, have come a long way for the honour of representing their country and to enjoy the atmosphere of the event. Well, we're having a lot of fun. Um, I had a drive last year in one of the cars, I really enjoyed it. And, and this week, uh, the two Aussies were quite close and we're having a lot of fun. Two teenagers are representing Brazil, but despite their tender years, they're both experienced racers. We realise, says 17-year-old Ricardo Maurizio, the need for both of us to finish well. We can win only if we work as a team. Germany's Norman Simon starts from pole, but he's well aware of the need to avoid other people's accidents. There are a couple of guys behind me. Everybody wants to win, and I think the pressing is quite strong. And the pole position is always safe, but you never know before the first corner is over. The team from Ireland faces a stiff challenge from strong opposition, but they're brimming with enthusiasm for the task that faces them. We have a lot of to do, but I think both of our fans are enough that we can do it. Wind and rain during qualifying affected a number of teams. The Dutch, for instance, find themselves firmly mid-grid. As Sander Van Es confirms, they're expecting a tough battle, but they think they can improve during the race and finish well for Holland. Three times winner of the Nations Cup, the Portuguese are always regarded as a major threat. I'm very happy and uh, I will try to do the best to go to get another two in front of me to finish the race at first. One of the most professional looking outfits has come from across the Atlantic and King USA are delighted to be on the pace. Uh, certainly a very exciting starting third. Um, I've actually, it's been great for me learning a lot from Jerry the last few days. And uh, so far everything's gone very well and I'm, I'm excited to have done so well for the uh, Team USA. But for the local fans, there can be only one favourite and all eyes are on Team Great Britain. You know, all the guys are, are quick out there, there's no one really slow. So, I've had no stay on the track. Um, finished quite close together. I don't finish up the tyres, I think we should be okay. Identical cars, identical engines, identical tyres. It's the drivers that count here as they prepare for the first of two 20 lap heats of Donington Park. Let's look down the starting order. On pole position then, Norman Simon representing Germany, then Brazil's Maurizio alongside him. Renner in the USA entry, alongside him, Teodosio of Portugal. Abraham from Brazil and Duke from Great Britain complete the first three rows. Then Montanari and Wilcox, Kappa and Diegas, Costa and Barguana, Douglas and Van Es are side by side, Nadeau and Stanton, Anderson and Ambrose, Cunnelly and Carway, Morelli, Kosmikov, Carlson, Chazamets, and Alexel and Neverliner on the final row of the grid. So we're ready then for the first of two 20 lap heats for Nations Cup 7. Germany on pole, Brazil alongside, USA right behind them. And the German driver in car number 22, Norman Simon, gets a good start from pole position. And goes safely, it looks like, indeed he does, into the first corner. And as the rest of the field stream through, going around the outside of his Brazilian rival there, looks like Peter Duke. So Team Great Britain moving up a place from the grid. Portugal's Ricardo Teodosio, number 46, weaving around heavily under braking as they went down into Old Hair Middle, and under threat again because their second driver, Martin Abraham, there he is in car number nine, is under attack from Adam Wilcox and Great Red Simon out of the race, that leaves Portugal at the head of the field. Ricardo Teodosio drivers recognises these cars as Formula Opal cars. In Great Britain they're called Formula Hostel, that's GM main trading brand in Britain, former Chevrolet in the USA and the racing install system, the same Raynard one make chassis, and the same Bridgestone tyres, Firestone to the Americans. So they know the machinery, some of them better than others, it must be said, and looking like he's putting his brakes to very good use indeed there, a superb move by Seth Costa, and trying to take his place back unsuccessfully. So let's just have a quick recap of the leaders then. Teodosio leads in the lead of the race and probably cost Germany a great deal more and even worse the North.
Norman Simon's mistake is a mistake there by the Irish driver. And that looks very much like Wayne Douglas. It is. He's safe. He's out of the wind. The Australian pitch. Botswana. Firmly in his position. Race at least. Botswana on the right of our screen. Making moves on that big group. Let's you can see signs there on the front wing of car 45. An earlier contact. So the Agus has had an interesting red point. Just the drive. But for the team. Mazzanari runs wide. But wider still. He's set Costa. 41. He was undoubtedly just now. Now you eight. Get their disaster for Brazil because number nine has spun. Wagner Abraham has spun it. Trying to come in too late on the break by that of Norcom. Lost the back end. Up well, out of the race. Second in this year's Australian Formula Ford Championship, so this is really a step up for him. That's number 42, Sandro Van Es, and there is his teammate. So the two Dutch cars grabbing the headlines. It's very close again. You just saw the Russian there, Alexo Vasilev, and look how he's very fired up as a young man indeed. Very close indeed, but not close enough as the chicken flag comes out to welcome the winner. So Ricardo Teodosio takes it for Portugal and after he won, Portugal lead with 7 points from Germany on 13. Brazil on 18 and the USA and Italy tied on 24 just ahead of Great Britain. Then it's very tight. The Baltic States 30, Ireland 32, Australia and Holland both on 33, Russia 35 and Sweden 36. That could go any way. And work goes on uh, down in the pits, preparing cars for drivers like Adam Wilcox. Well, Britain may be disappointed, but Brazil certainly are. They're third overall after the third race and hoping to go better.